Hi, this is John from Rever for Interior Designers. This is another video in my series on how to customize or modify railings in Revit. Today's topic is how to customize the locations of balusters in a handrail or guardrail. These are the vertical members along the path of a railing. So, let's see how it's done. So the path in plan view, if I were to click on this, that path right there, go edit type, um, edit rail. Let's see, grab the, what is this guy? That is the top rail. This is the railing. Edit the path of the railing. Click. Okay. So you see the railing sticks out another tread plus 12 inches. So it stops here as far as river is concerned, and it continues to add something else to the design after the end of it. So you don't have to draw this. Revit does it automatically by using the families, the menus. At the top, you know, the same thing. I added a foot. It's inside of the family. It says add a foot to the railing, the top rail. So that's where that comes from. The trick here is that I can actually control where I add the vertical posts. Because remember, the posts are controlled by balusters. And balusters have a menu that says, there, here's a spacing. Every four feet, every three feet, what have you. But what if you want to be spaced on wherever you want to be in a, in a custom fashion? Well, what you do then is you break the path. Here's the railing. And notice I had a line segment here, and a line segment here, and a line segment here, and one here. Well, I can break the line using this command here called the split element. Take a exacto and cut the line somewhere. And wherever you cut the line, it will make a post. So to demonstrate that, if I took a, a simple railing, I drew a railing across here and I accepted it, let's make this railing the handrail pipe. This is controlled by a four foot spacing, right? If I click on this, edit type, look at the balusters, it's every four feet. But what if, because of the nature of my design, I, I can't really make it work every four feet exactly? Well, what you can also do is then you can decide that in this railing, if I were to um, click on this and edit the path, you can then draw reference planes that are there to help. Let's say I want to draw it in one place. I'll just do it randomly. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to make one here, but then for whatever reason, here's duplicate, here's multiple. I'll make one here, but then over here, I need one over there. And then for whatever reason, I need one there, I need one there, I need one there. I mean, these might not be four foot spacings, but you see this pattern is rather random. Where everyone will record that because it's completely random. So what you do is you use a split command and you cut it at these reference planes because I'm, they're there to help me space out where I want them to be. And if I did that, I can snap to those locations where the reference points intersects the lines. And when I accept it, and I look in 3D, there's my spacing, and that's completely custom. That's completely custom. These points right there are exactly where I split the line. I took this member, and I went to the balusters, and I, I took these and made them uh, one in squares. These are the, the, the main pattern balusters, the verticals, and I hit accept. Next, apply. And you can see these are the start and end of my, my balusters. They're not the intermediate members because it's, it's it got split. This is the beginning and end of that line segment. So that's that start and end. The start and end controls this, this design, this spacing. 
you can grab that member by itself, but you can see top rows get selected, but that vertical member cannot get selected by itself. I can't change it out. I will stop it there.